Hey there TNB, this is going to be your capillary bonding tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be sending that out to you tomorrow. should be tomorrow, I hope. If not, definitely Tuesday. It's going to be some cleaner uh, capillary bonding applicator, some weld on, some pieces to practice on. Uh, there's some three grades of uh, scratch remover and some Velcro. I didn't have much of the marine grade, but what I had left uh, I would send to you. And of course the cooler. Alright, so. Uh, also, Canned air is very helpful for this. So when you have it set up, you'll want your work between some weights maybe, uh, unless you feel confident in its balance, and you'll also want a right angle to make sure it's square. A couple things to note when it comes to um, the bonding of two surfaces. That's a pretty good surface. It's smooth, it's got some saw swirls in it, but nothing much. That is not a good surface. That's a deep saw mark. And although the piece would still bond, uh, on black, you wouldn't be so big of a deal, but on like bronze or clear, you'd definitely be able to see that flaw. All right, so good, bad. Also on bonding, you want to make sure that you have, this piece would be on the horizontal surface. This will sit on top of it like so. Uh, much easier to bond than say that way. You have gravity working for you holding the piece down, whereas this way, well, you can do it, but I, with a weight on the back side, but I prefer this. So that's how that's set up. So the applicator is a rubber bottle, plastic bottle, excuse me, squeeze it, get all the air out, point it away, make sure that none of the liquid's squirting out. When you turn it over, bubbles start getting drawn in. This is the control mechanism. Um, when you place it against the corner, you're going to apply a little bit of pressure. It will cease the uh, air flow inwards and then start to push the liquid out. One of the nice things about capillary bonding is the weld on will travel down the seam. Um, kind of helps out a bit, but you want to be aware of that so you don't go overboard. So you press all the air out, turn it over, bubbles, place it in the corner there. I apply just the smallest amount of pressure and move it across the surface. When I'm done, I release the pressure so the bubbles are being drawn in. That makes sure that no extra gets on the, on the weld. All right. So let that sit for just a moment. It only takes a couple of seconds for it to get tacky. You can move some things away here. And you can see that this is welded. Usually it takes overnight to fully dry, but there you have it. Alrighty, got any questions, give me a PM. Thanks.